when it's ready. Okay. Uh, number That actually, uh, it's a few page document uh, telling us what test and relation we have to buy. So, if I make a revision, I change one to one of that, but the uh, is a normative assessment. I don't think so because uh, it's by lease. So, choose your components that are in the same category. Same huh? list. That just increases the prices. Yeah. Make it choose my list of expensive stuff. Um, I don't know. In electronics, do you know if there are some components that are. Do we have Euro chance or are we stuck to Europe? Uh, it says uh, Europe is good because it's one very. Uh, if you sell in Europe, you can sell everywhere. Yeah, because they have our products. If we're using ROHS, that's the question. Not ROHS. Yeah. So, can we please write these things down? Because uh, if we start talking about them, we will never finish. Okay. But I don't see why. Uh, so, this can't be sold in Europe because there's slack. In well, no, even if there's no left, it's not stamped ROHS. Mm -hmm. So I have, to, I have to provide ROHS documents to every single component on the list, and every single PCB has to be ROHS, and require ROHS. So when they do an audit, they're going to ask for all the people. It's fine. It's not hard. 99% of stuff I buy is ROHS. Except for my 10 pounds of solder I have at home, which I want to use up. Which is left. Okay. So I'm putting the uh, inning sheet on the. I'm sharing the thing. Yes. Okay, so the normal was assessment, so you did that, and so, so what's the problem? Is there any big problem with the mosquito? Or? No, no, not at all. Okay. Okay. Give you um, a list of uh, regulations you have to follow. Okay, because I, I, I know that they asked you questions about. Uh, if it's a medical device, if it's it. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Because if, if so, you don't, you're not in the same category. Okay. Why the process now? Why the next step? Uh, I have to send them some uh, information about the uh, general, general, general information about what we do. And uh, they, will, um, they will fit this into the uh, category and they will. Retrieve the uh, Do you have to pass a test? No. We can if we want to be uh, ISO, uh, ISO uh, quality no, no, for us. But this is mandatory for me. Yeah, yeah, no, it's not So, let's say you sell a mosquito in Europe, um, and you need this approval, right? So you say you, you don't pass any test. Yeah, yeah, you need the standard. Uh, so at, at one point, C -E. at one point, you need to go to some office and have your mosquito test, right? Yeah. Um, no, I don't. Yeah, yeah. At the point, we have to buy these uh, regulations. So uh, I guess. Uh, by the stamp. And if you don't have that, you can sell it in Europe? Correct. You can sell it over the internet? Well, you, you can sell the US or the FCC. If you sell more than five, you have the FCC. Yeah. That's the US, right? Yeah, that's FCC. The European Union. 
So you gotta do that for every country in the world? Isn't there is no standard? No, no, no. Uh, there are four standards. The international, the American, the US, Canadian, European. These are the main standards. So if we buy from China, it was actually passed through these declarations? Uh, okay, sorry, yeah. I just what it was. Standards, uh, the national. Yeah, it's uh, like in this ecosystem, which part of the world? Most of the world. All of them. Yes, all of them. So the product has to meet certain standards, right? Correct. Right. So is it a technical standard? Like current? All of them are. Well, if it's touching the human, then yes, there's different standards of paying for it. If it's emissions, then there's a test has to set radiation that may cause interference. Mm -hmm. Oh, but I mean, uh, in terms of like, if you plug it in the wall, it will burn because it's a. If you plug it in the wall, you have the best CSA. Don't plug it in the wall, you have the best CSA. So, is it something to be uh, like collected and put into a document, like a manual, or MSDS or whatever? I think you have a sound. I think you have a session with no? No, but I mean, there is a document that uh, is accompanying the big product, right? So, do you think you, should, you can be yeah, a yeah. list of uh, um, uh, characteristics? Yeah. And I will make a video. This is quite good. It says James. Right, how do you see by the product? Let's take this product here for this microscope. Uh, how do you know that it passes even for your like My mouse has uh, labels. Uh, for your surface? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, well, if say you take an analog, an analogous product online, you see what they put in the spreadsheet, and we do the same for yeah. any, every single piece. So if you send me the textual information, I will make it look nice and really great. Yeah, I don't exactly understand what you're talking about. Okay, so uh, I, I see a list of parts. I see like I'm a document. Just uh, make nice that is like a certificate. Yeah. But what I see here is yeah. we need more information and we ask them what the, the steps after that. Yeah. And how practically what happens if we want to sell outside. Okay. More information is coming. So. Well, basically, we are asking what else you need uh, besides the product itself. Right? What kind of documentation you need? Mm -hmm. so I I still don't understand why you guys want to go with the laser in a laser connector when they sell it with the pit cap. The only difference is just a little fiber in between. Ah, because you want to put it in that the little thing, huh? Okay. Miniaturization. Yeah. Yeah, it's very small without the connector. So we know that PDMD does that for sure. Yeah. They align the, the lens. So, uh, do, do laser in this connector? Yes. This will also do it. What I want <laughs> is one package that has the photodiode and the laser inside it. Like a PDLT. One ST connector. Two ST connectors. Uh, one ST connector with two can to go in. Two little these things go into one ST connector. And in between, there's a little beam splitter. Yeah. That's exactly what we asked the DLT to do for us. I didn't even want because they probably buy it from China. So that's what I want. You can talk to Tom at IRT Glass. He said he can make us that splitter. I'll have the isolator to create everything. So we just have, when we're doing experimentation, we just change these things all we want. Stick him, pull them out, and we're done. <coughs> so you use these modules that already have isolator and beam splitter. So he, he can make us a glass. He'll assemble the optical subassembly. Tom at IRT Glass. He tried to call us many times and we never spoke to him. But these things are very expensive. Do you order them when you need like hundreds of them? No, I asked him. He said, I'll make one if you want. Yeah? And I said, this can cost thousands or millions of dollars. He said, hundreds of dollars then. Each. Or for the design and creation of one. I mean, there is a 
a rocket science there, you know what I'm saying? Just look at this thing, how they are assembled. Yeah, it's just mirrors placed inside the socket, which was already designed, you know. And there is a bit of alignment, but if you have a tools for alignment, which means the power meter, the alignment bench. Well, this is the, I guess we are saving time. Uh, but I, my reason is that that is, a, that is already a product. That is when you want to assemble the product. And then you spend money and you don't even do it yourself, probably you make it you know, important or something. But for R&D purposes, I think it's a huge investment. Unless it's that can do it, they make a design for us, right? Oh yeah, because that's the best, and then how you, then you need, you need the tools to put these things in, so I, I guess it's a metal and glass kind of. Well, I saw the lens, and we think Daniel makes a thing. Because I made the mixture, okay? The red tent of the mosquito is going to have one of these. Inside it's going to be a laser, inside it's going to be a photodiode. And the lens of the can is this tough device we're talking about. And you put an ST and you're done. It's the mosquito right here. Well, that's the future. Yeah, but you are talking about the product, not the R&D purpose. So for R and D, yeah, that would be much this map. I agree. But for if you need it as a final device, I think it's worth it. Because it will it shrinks everything by this scale. Yeah. So go back to the video then, I mean the same design. Yeah. Uh, 
Okay, so we can... I did send it to you. Yeah? So uh, what's the... Uh, uh, just search for IRDP. IRD? This is for SD... IRD. No, this is for SD. Is that what I'm Is that the only one? Yeah. Okay, thank you for visiting. Okay, this is the one. Alright, okay, so let me put it on my task list and uh, okay. I'll okay, so I will I'm going to order them this week. As soon as I get my PO from Neurotouch, I'm going to order it, photo diodes, laser diodes, all that shit. Hopefully they all work. We're not ordering it now. Laser diodes and photo diodes. Okay, so here's, here's another question that I have for the technical community. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about that when I talk about the experiments. So, Okay, so so this experiment, so actually what we see, we see the resonance uh, at very small distance from the mirror. So this is a ideal model of the joint type transducer without a joint. You know, it's just a clean mirror in front of the fiber. So we try to uh, vary the gap and the angles. And we see some resonance, so we're trying to see what is the uh, distance, uh, the optimal distance from the mirror. So, in, in other words, what is the optimal gap? <clears throat> uh, uh, and we, uh, you know, this, this resonance that we see, actually there might be something that happens inside the pigment. Uh, the pigment, the mosquito. I always think about the pigment. Uh, so, in order to get rid of uh, some hypothesis, you know, it would be nice to use a circular. Because what happens inside the PDFD, you know, you can have some interference there. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you have light reaching the laser and you have light reaching the detector, okay, from different sides. Right. And you can have interference where the laser is, and you can have interference where the, the diode is, or you can just have a resonance in, in the cavity in the duct. Okay. So, <clears throat> I want to see if there is interference. At the laser side, the, you know, if light comes in the laser and disturbs la uh, lasing, or if there is some interference at the protodiode side. So in order to uncouple all the signals, you know, we use a circular. Yeah. Okay. But for that, we need to replace this mosquito with, with one that has, you know, Chinese, the Chinese, uh, yeah, that's fucking desperate. We have to get this Chinese shit on the road. <clears throat> okay, so what's, what's holding up there? Uh, I have these boards drill, and then I have to. So there's no board that's Okay, so. And then I have to order them. And this thing doesn't work. That's so we made last week, it didn't work. So I remade the board to have the chips that we ordered, so I can test with the actual chips. Why is it not functional? Because of the, like, the part? I don't know, because I just took the part off another part and I put it in there. So for all I know, the dealer's chip laser driver that I stole the part from. Has fake parts. I have no idea. So I made a new board that uses only two shaky parts. And I haven't had a chance to saw that up yet. That's, so that's going to be done this week. Today is Tuesday. <laughs> so this week, I'm going to solder. So this is that. I'm going to finalize for you. No, leave it there. I'm going to do. I'll do my proper due diligence on it. Okay. I just want to put it to the cemetery of. Uh, I don't do it with that. Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm gonna put on the silicone, I'm gonna test point all the points. Okay, I have to do due diligence. Okay. I wanna do that builder strong because it's nice to have someone like I see this otherwise okay. never gets that properly. So so my goal here is just to is just to raise a uh, an issue. Yeah. And to understand what's holding it. Um, the issue so is we haven't tested it yet, so I don't wanna order until I test it. And the boards. Yeah. Yes. And the boards, when I order them, the guys that start production the day he gets the order. He's going to finish them in three days and yeah. ship them to us in three days, okay. six days turn around. And we're talking, we're talking yeah. about the laser driver and the full uh, Yeah. Okay. And the NeuroTouch and the Wi-Fi and the bird project. All of them. And that answers the question for Phil. So, so okay. Uh, I'll just make some notes here. Phil waiting for the zero, zero towards. That's my fault for a really long time. Um, what? My fault for a really long time on this uh, testing. Well, no, that's, that's what it goes. I mean, okay, so 
see where the scheduling for the Muslim yes. was. All right. Yeah. Okay, and, and uh, okay. the new Muslim for the field. I think we have the this size. And he has so many leads. Yeah, that's my question. Remember, I told you uh, even before you came, like, I said I'm making it to the marker. I made it before six months is over. Yeah. Okay. So you have one like this. What's the relationship between Kizu and Yumus? For Yumus, you have a manager here. Kizu needed one page. Ah, yes. Oh, okay, wait. We should split this together. This is the microprocessor over there. Because this is, digital, this is left jacket and laser. Jacket. Because as soon as we get these boards, uh, Jonathan, then we can also make a mosquito without without a circulator for, for Philippe, yeah? Yeah. Okay. The circulator is, is good for us here because if it works, that, that's still an unknown, but if it works, you know, assuming that it works, so you can isolate laser and detector, and whenever you see interference or resonance, it comes from somewhere else. Well, because when we, we did the test with the Chinese, and with the circulator and just regular splitter. And I saw the difference. Francois saw the difference, but we have no way of testing if this difference is not. Because we're not using the perfect mosquito. You have to do yeah. that setup with the circulator. Yes. It's just sitting in a box. You see if there's resonance and so on. Okay. Okay, so then. The parent motor driver. Step on motor driver, so I, I'm just saying that I linked the document there, uh, and I'm going to work on. Making it. Uh, Sean's bringing his step motor driver tomorrow. Okay, he's he's going to he, set up the. Because he's worked with coolers before. Mm -hmm. and he can set up for five, five minutes. Okay. And he also has an Arduino equivalent uh, step motor driver for the main. So we have different options there. Yeah. So should I still work on this one? Is this more powerful? Can I drive like more? This is the fucking Rolls Royce. Okay. This is a good kind of acceleration. I don't know what's going to be on. It's a private jet. <clears throat> okay, so it's what? It's the it's, it's 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 Okay, okay. okay so uh, and, and, and Philip needs it too, because if I do it, you know, it's, it's a nice But you don't have to work, don't, don't crack it out, it's because I have a cable <coughs> at home. Do you have a cable from the other stream? Yeah. You plug it to your stream port, and you plug it to that, and it's open. It'll go to the bar. I have a serial to USB converter. Okay. And that's all you have to do. And then you can just go to the paper terminal, type it in the command. You mean just to, uh, I don't understand, so how do you code it? Oh, you just send the strings you just to, talk to it. through uh, USB? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that's, uh... The inside the microcontroller, for Phil and for you, if you want to do a program, there's an EEPROM inside. So you load your memory and you just say go. And it does all the Okay, yes, it's a script that you can run. Uh, yeah, that's on board script. <coughs> okay. Okay, next uh, topic. Next topic is, I think, uh, that's it for the technical. Yeah? Need the test, Oh. Alright. Hey, Bob is here. I've been trying. <laughs> well, I got connected, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're going into the business uh, meeting right now, and actually uh, this is for well, so you can look at it. We just spoke about some technical stuff, uh, technical issues that we have here, and I actually wanted to do a demo for these guys today because we have uh, a meeting with Mike uh, this afternoon, the first one, and then uh, we have the meeting tomorrow. Where and also Thursday. And Thursday too, yeah, but uh, Bob is, uh, he would prefer to uh, do the demo Wednesday tomorrow. Okay. No on the afternoon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then. <coughs> okay. So, Francois, you're going to talk about uh, a few things and then I'll do the demo. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, uh, remember we had the uh, client who contacted Sensor Recap. He's a researcher at Washington University. Yes. <coughs> and he's looking for a uh, scientific instrument. Uh, wow. Okay. Um, but it's a little bit like Daniel. He has managed to spend. I think he knows last. Okay. So he didn't 
Il est plein euh, pour le last seven days. Ouais, il est très simple, il m'a dit ce day. 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 I think we need to have a strategy of communication. I think one day we need to sit down and see how do we communicate with these people. Because he talks in Sorika's website, right? So, and he got confused. Yes. Okay, didn't know if we're just uh, you know, do it yourself, guys, or if we sell a product. I think to, we need to have a consistent way of communication. Yeah. We need a professional website. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we also need a professional website. Because if you look at Sorika, it reminds me of the DIY website. Yes, yeah. It is, it is, it is yeah, we already had the discussion, I think it's, then it was nice. So, uh, Frederick also said, was saying that, you know, we may need a, a vitrine, no? Uh, a place where you can show his hands and so on. So. Yeah. But it is part of the case, uh, as we want to uh, uh, that's good if you can send any brochure specifications we have. Something you can have. Okay. Website, brochures, that's the website. website. <laughs> Big sign, but, but no, the, work with Ivan, he gives me the template of one CD. I can just do it. I did that for two you years. Put in the numbers, yeah? I worked for an insane person for two years who was very particular about the exact look of the site. Yeah, and good. she provided so me like exactly like you. But, yeah. but I'm saying for me, creation of website, Format is uh, not an issue. He needs the education, he needs the options, the ISO, that. Okay, so uh, did he ask for a uh, special spec for it? Uh, no, but he said uh, if you can provide. Yeah, yeah, yes. yes. Okay, so basically, uh, what? Tomorrow, I by the end of the day, I can have a uh, leaflet for him with all the specs. Uh, all the specs. Well, I mean, whatever we have. Like, I can give him the idea of the stiffness uh, if you are talking about the technical specifications. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have other specs? I, I, I send him uh, what we have about stiffness. Yes, so we need something else. We need to see. David, did you have a chance to get any other? Uh, no, this is this is the work, and I'm, I'm uh, working on. Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to do some. Uh, uh, Adopt it. So basically, because I have a lot of data. Tomorrow I go to Phil's lab, and I'll take the uh, data analysis program, which I don't have. So then I can do some nice feeding, some averaging, some stuff like that. I will go with the project because they didn't need to compare systems, and our system doesn't exist. So he needs some pictures to see. Uh, we have videos. You can send your set up photo. Yeah. Set up the photo in the next picture. You there. Okay. Uh, the options, the piezo, the bath. Uh, did you reply him with uh, the word like? Remember, I sent you an, uh, an email. Uh, no, no, I didn't. So I, I can answer this, this, this question. I can write that. Basically, the way we work. Okay. Like, we collect all the information about you. What you already have, what you need, yeah. and then we provide you with the virtual setup with the approximate result we can get. Yeah. But initially, you must be sure that we are the right person and the range we want to be sure. Okay. Yeah. That, I mean, if we can give him something else besides the stiffness. But I think okay. Apart from these tools. You know, I think we also need to start and, and decide, you know, think about a strategy of communication through emails and by phone. They're like, how do you how do you approach the guy? You know what I'm saying? Uh, because I sense here that we have a problem. Okay, we have a problem. The problem is that people need to perceive that behind the product there is an organization that can produce an organization that is organized. Okay. That, that, that produce well, organized in, in you know. That means organization for them, okay? Something that produces stable, reliable products, and that can and that can supply a service. Mm -hmm. So that is what customers look for, okay? And some terminology that we use uh, might not point to that. Neither have. And it is also true that some of these processes are not uh, finely tuned for us, okay? 
So yeah, we don't know yet how to do the best service, how to yeah, uh, make the most stable pro product and so on. Because we're you know that, that's not just our problem. That's any startup's problem. You know, any startup that has new product, you know, they have to do the quality. You know, in order to have a steady and this production. comes a lot from appearance. If you have a nice page, brochures, pictures, yes. you look yes. like the others. Yes. So yes. For, for you. you well, I made the design, so we have the book. I just need to fill it with information. Yeah, but, but at the same time, in the communication strategy, you know, I don't think we have to lie. And I think it's an advantage to sell a product that is, you know, that has other features, you know, that is, is you know, modular, ethical, uh, you know, what I'm saying, sustainable, whatever, you know, what I'm saying. So, so how can we marry these both things? How can we? I can we talk about the advantages that that, that we have, okay? Uh, you know, open hardware, open software, whatever you know, all these advantages that we have to again encapsulate them, For sure. okay? But but not to scare people away, you know what I'm saying? Not to put them off you by you just say that uh, evolutive. Uh, how do you present yourself as a company that they can recognize, okay? and at the same time? You know, throw in some advantages that companies don't have, you know what I'm saying? And that is sensoric alike, you know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, because if you just say we're sensoric, they're going to think, you know, these guys are crazy, you know? So, they're going to send me some shit and there's no way to go after them if it doesn't work, you know? And it's, um, so, I mean, we need to send him a document after reading which he understands. How he can yeah. So my suggestion: put it in the brochure, and uh, we give a keyword for every option we offer. Yeah. Say modular uh, software. I put it as a header of the page. Yeah. And in a few sentences, we describe what we mean by that. So. Okay, so you have a big characteristic, and then you. So, yeah. so ideas. I think we have really good ideas here, but there's a trap here. It's uh, the same as Elvin and Laris. Are we? We are not selling the product. It's not fully tested. We don't know the lifetime of the country. Yeah. So yeah. it's a prototype. Well, for now you sell what you have. Yes, and you should sell these two right here. Yeah, we're going to say that. Yeah, but then you can take it back and exchange and then take it back and exchange and it's 
Yeah, Rick is out of town. He's gonna come here? Just to see us. We're gonna go there. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Rick's house. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Rick's house. Okay, um, so what I put is a table of contents of the pressure, like the index. Uh, what do we offer? Yeah, I think this is a work in progress. I think we should we should make like a template. People put that, and then, you know, because that's going to take like a few days of thinking, rethinking, you know, based on what he says, what he says, what he says, what he comments, you know. Uh, well, at least we know for now. We know for sure that uh, first of all, must Kita cannot work without software, right? Yeah. So the software must be provided. Yes. 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 Uh, can you put in your to dos to write a couple of sentences, like about the software? Like, write one paragraph about the software. What? Uh, how would you describe it? We have so I put it in the, in the brochure. Uh, we already have it. Yeah. We already did something. E email it to me, please. So I have it to put it into the brochure. Oh, but for the software, do we need any? No, 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 no. For the software, it's okay. We can. Yeah, I'm asking. Right now, I'm asking about the software. Huh? The software is good, but don't buy this. <coughs> yeah, no, I, I'm not talking about like what to put. He wants to go with like, the description. Yeah, and I just want to like to put the puzzle. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the software. And okay, and okay, so the software, you, you will send it to me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then uh, next, uh, he will need the perfusion band. We need to ask if he has one or not. And if he uh, does not, uh, depending on the type of the microscope, test, whatever, do we offer the design and the production of the button? From our side, uh, I guess so, right? Uh, well, I think we have to because uh, for the type of it's No, but the, the beauty of the bat, if it's customized for his uh, setup, that it can be used even without the mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a product. It's a product itself, it's a company product. Like, if, say, tomorrow our mosquito doesn't work at Phil's lab, his bat is still there and he will be using it forever. For what? Uh, for, for the inverted microscope. For his work with cells or whatever. It's a, it's a nice bio, you know, it, can, it has a circulation system inside and everything. So, I mean, the bat itself does not require the mosquito. Okay, so we offer that. Do we go with the first cut? Uh, I guess so. Because we can see if we don't have other strong connections with uh, other workshops. Okay, that's it to do uh, to send uh, here. To send uh, this to this thing here. Send back. Okay, so, if you go with the first cut, can I put the approximate price of the bat if you need one in the virtual? <coughs> It will be around seven hundred dollars for the perfusion button. Yes. Okay. okay. So this will be another uh, page in the leaflet that I will send okay, the brochure. Okay. So the software people will send me the specs. Then the bat, uh, the, the perfusion system. I Can you be the project manager for this brochure? Well, I will be because uh, and I, like it's not too much work to be done. But the only thing we are missing now is the parameters for the mosquito itself. That's it. Because we don't know anything besides the. Okay, the perfusion system, then I will put like miscellaneous thing, meaning that if he has other requirements for his experiments, he has to provide us with the full description of the system he already has. So we are able to ask for the measurements and design the experimental setup remotely and send him the design so we fit everything remotely. Before, yeah, yeah, he, uh, before he pays. It's the you yeah. So we have the price for the bat. We have the price for our service in designing and molding. And we have uh, the description of the software. Now we need the description and the price for the hardware. The mosquito itself and the electronics. So I need, I need uh, uh, specs. For the electronics from you guys and the physical parameters. The for the electronics is not that important to me. I understand when you buy your full product, uh, full tested product, the final. I focus on the specs. The specs are trying to change continuously.
Well, but we can still do this. Okay, yeah, then fine. Well, whatever information you think uh, we can put in the brochure, you just send it. All mm -hmm. thing you need is USB plug. That's it. Okay, fine. Any computer with a USB. Yeah, we do that. USB. Well, uh, hopefully he doesn't need the high, high, the high temper of acquisition uh, because then he's going to use the you know, top card, some base card. We'll see. But that's the thing. If he wants uh, 12 bits, uh, 500,000 per second, then he gets it. Okay. He gets it with the USB port. If he wants. Well, yeah, 500,000, you can, you can go at the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, with the USB? No, with the uh, chip here. The, Okay. Okay. So. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So. So the only thing is missing is uh, at least some numbers for the physical text of the mosquito. That's kind of. That's totally simple. But yeah, that's the acquisition. What's fast acquisition? Okay. So we have some questions. Yeah. Not only the range, but also the. So okay. So this uh, you can write here. Do we put these questions into a brochure or you want to ask uh, send him an email first? Ah, just an email. Yeah, that's yeah. uh, You know what questions, that's why you're going to take most of Yeah. Acquisition rate. Acquisition rate. Force. Uh, restate, restate the range. Restate, restate the range. Uh, you know, the force range. Because you meant that, sir. Uh, huh? I, I can't force say range. Range. Because, because uh, uh, acquisition is working with text. Rate. So all I want to say is, you can have the text I asked if some of the questions and have a meeting here. Text here is also the document. So we can go through and edit, and then when you okay. make a revision, you just go so, to one place and go to yeah, right. Okay, yeah. guys, so wait a second now. Okay, so we go to Zoo and follow up. So we're done with that guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. We don't, well, it's a working progress. We know. We're sending an email and then we're going to work on it. You know, the questions could be asked. Yeah, yeah I, I will uh, bring some with you. Okay. So we're going to Rambi. Uh, Rambi, Zoo, okay. <laughs> Uh, so, so it's exactly seven days or so since our last uh, event. Okay. Uh, he didn't fly. Uh, we sent these lines. Yes. Nice. Yes. Yes. That was that was my last communication. So we're waiting for him. He's probably gonna answer because that's what he did with the other things. But uh, I mean, it's nice little panic in here. Uh, no, 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 it's not. Okay. Yeah. What do we have to propose to you? <coughs> uh, wait, how much? So let me put it right in the calendar. Tell me when a date to put it. Uh, uh, two weeks is the maximum. Two weeks? Okay. Right. So what do you think? Next week? Wednesday? What's the best day to contact someone during the week? Is it Monday? No, no. Wednesday? Friday? What? You have Tuesday? to look at the psychology and say, what's the happiest day of the week? What's the happiest day of the week? Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah? Mine is coming before. Yes. Monday is bad, Thursday. Can go somewhere before she comes. Okay. Okay. So Monday, Tuesday. So here you go. So I'm trying to. Can you put it in the calendar? Because it's kind of slow for me. My computer is choking. Thank you very So uh, in one week. Okay. So yeah, just uh, invite you and, and me or whoever wants to follow this up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Bob is gonna probably uh, you know listen. He's probably listening to us now. So what we're trying here is to manage our relations with the customers and uh, and schedule some of, uh, you know callbacks for the customer and so on. So that that's sort of a need that we have and we're struggling with, and uh, we're using our normal calendar. To put that, uh, you know, that task, call this this guy in the back. <coughs> All right. So, what's next? Hello. Follow up. If the Canadian space agency. Hello. Hello. Ah, oh, I'm 
first in the meeting, uh, that's why it is you. Okay, John. <coughs> okay, uh, uh, so. So the next point is uh, plot with the kind of space agency. Okay, these are related, right? Yeah, yeah, it's like Space agency are related. Yeah, it's, right. it's the same. Follow up with CSA. Okay. Don't break. Okay. Perfect. Uh, okay. So demo. Are you accounting system? Are you ready for it? Who wants to see the demo? I do. Okay. So you can come on your computer, or uh, I will. Uh, Bob, are you there? Are you listening, Bob? I'm here. See if there's uh, just do people have questions? Uh, I I I hope you you will when you're doing the demo f uh, for your meeting you will rearrange this first so it's a little bit uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, a little bit cleaner. Um, I will work with the with the diagram software over time and try to get it to be a little cleaner all by itself. Uh, right now it's a little stupid, but it gets the yeah. diagram out there. So you can log in here, okay, and you can see, well, uh, 
browse data. Uh, actually, this is a feature that we uh, modernized right after we present this. But you can get easily get lost in, in, in this thing here. Uh, you can, for example, see uh, other processes, or let's say the economic resources, what are the economic resources that we use. So you can have all these things, the lever, if you just think of the lever, what's the lever? It's a material, you have a photo of it. Um, you have association between uh, different materials. Uh, so we're not going to dive into this because it's, it's, uh, you know, it's a web of... It's actually, it actually gives you access to the data structure, is that right, Bob? Uh, th th this is this is also this is also uh, this is much too complicated to use in a demo. Okay. This is this is for you to explore the database because you wanted to know how the data is 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 uh, organized and uh, what is associated with what and uh, uh, as I said, you know, this is something that you can easily get lost in. So. Uh, I would recommend uh, do not show, do not use this as part of the demo. Okay. <laughs> okay, no little stuff. So let's go back to uh, demo. So next thing in demo is projects, right? We got this famous projects uh, chart. So you go to projects. Yeah. The the other thing for the demo, you know, as I would I would I would set up tabs for all the pages, yeah, all the pages that you want to use in the demo, so you don't have to be going back and forth and getting yourself lost. You're right. So here it is, uh, and 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 it's, you also have the. Uh, the uh, you know the sequence. You don't, don't have yeah, to yeah. It's put yeah. Put the sequence in the tabs, and then you know you know because you know, otherwise you're going to be doing all that uh, uh, poking around and getting yourself lost and uh, trying to find what you're looking for. Now it's all, 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 yeah. All right, so you go to the first one here. Project. So this is a this is a very simple video. Okay, that can get much more complex. I would even put it into graphics, but it but what, what this shows you is how people spend uh, time in this case okay, on it. Okay, so you can see the structure of projects. Now, Bob and I agree that this tree doesn't really represent the reality, but it's a very simplistic way to represent, you know, the relationships between projects. But we agree that, you know, for example, the XYZ piece of positioner has two parts. You know, we can go into the smart, uh, you know, uh, this robotic thing, or can go into the mosquito, uh, scientific instrument, or it, it might also be a part itself in the sense that it can be so bold as a, as a separate item, right? So this is a way to look at the relationships, of the, which is very simplistic and not uh, at all, uh, I'd say, complete, or it doesn't really represent reality. Um, and, and it's based on, on, the, on one particular type of relation, which is the uh, supplier, or how do you, how would you say that? producer-consumer type of relation. So this project produces a product that is a sub-product of another product. Okay, so let's say you have the bath, but that is a sub-product of the scientific instrument system. But then we are now brainstorming about other types of relations between projects. And one of them is, you know, some affiliation between projects in terms of processes. So let's say, for example, I set up to do optical fiber coding. And while I'm setting that up, you know, uh, it takes half a day to set it up and then to do the process. But you might as well do something else which is strongly connected to that and uses the same sort of materials and procedures 
So you're going to have to set it up twice. So you, know, you have a chart where you know, it's filtered through this relationship. So you say, today I have to do this task. What are the tasks that match this one so we can save time in our plan? Okay? Uh, I have to do this other task next week, but it's better if I do it today, you know what I'm saying? Because it's more efficient. So now we're thinking about other types of relations between projects uh, to generalize how projects are basically connected to, to each other. And, and, and have have projects sorted by the relations they can maintain among each other. Anyway, so this the tree that you see here relates to relationship between projects, and the data that you have uh, on the right of the, the uh, every project is basically how much, how much effort is going into that. Okay, and I suppose that we can have different other metrics, uh, you know, for projects. And at at one point, we were, I was thinking about social metrics. You know, how much how excited are people about, about this project? How much are people talking about this project on our forum? You know what I'm saying? That's 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 a social metric to see is there excitement around this project? Maybe how many people, people have their eyes on that page? How many people look? You know, uh, who are these people? Are these members or people from outside? You know what I'm saying? So you can have different metrics that we can put. Uh, but this is for the value accounting system. That's the first shot. Okay? That, uh, that uh, anything else I should add to this, uh, Bob? Uh, well, I just, I guess, for the since Oracle members, um, they should know that what I did here is I imported a bunch of data from your Google spreadsheets on September 9th, and I only imported the time contributions. Basically, I'm trying to l work for l learn what you got in your system myself, so. So I haven't done anything with the material contributions or the financial contributions yet. That'll come after the demo. Yes. Uh, so what you see here, you know, you'd be looking around and says, where are the material contributions? They're not here yet. Where are my financial contributions? Not here yet. So and everything is as of anything after September 9th is most likely not in here yet. So. It's okay. it's a it's a snapshot you know that I'm using to try to develop the software. Sure. So then, and yeah, it's it's a, it's it's the data that you use uh, to see how the system basically deals with it. It needs to have some data. What would be the demo uh, focus on? Wednesday? So this is actually the demo. The focus of this is to is to show. Okay, so the focus of the, the, the demo is to show the value accounting system. Uh, and, and it goes into the, the build of materials, it go, which is called now the extended build. It goes into the uh, suppliers and the relationship with customers. So it covers a few areas that, that she's actually interested in. But we show it into one package here, okay, which is you know, this software that is coming together and has different models. And, and we're also trying to, so we're trying to make her understand that, you know, this is how we organize to manage projects. This is how we organize to manage relationships with customers. This is how we organize to manage our supply chain. Okay? And, and, and this is where we're going after that. Okay. So it's a full technology. Yeah. It's, okay. uh, but instead of me talking about all these little questions that she asked, you know, I can wrap it up, I can wrap everything up into this term. You see? So let's say the next thing is is how we log time. Okay. Next thing in the demo is how do we how we log time? Well, this is an interface well, then we can pass this past. Uh, now you're going into it's interesting for her to see the yeah. the root. Yeah. So here's the value equation, okay? This is the value equation. So the, now this page is a simulator. So this page is a page that any member of Sensorica can use based on a case, which is the values that you see here. It's all the data in this table. And you decide on an equation. You write your own equation, and then you press compute. And the system is going to give you how a certain amount of money, now it's zero, because they didn't put it, put it, put it, but let's say I put $5,000 here, okay? and the system tells you how to distribute this $5,000. And if you think these values make sense, but, well, probably, you know, you found an equation that makes sense for you. And, and I can do another type of equation, like, and I can get some slightly different numbers. And then when we debate about value equation, you come up with your numbers, and I come up with my numbers. 
So at least the discussion is grounded on the data that we have, okay, and on the results, you know, concrete results that this value equation is giving to us. So this is basically a, how do I say, a, a, a sandbox for us to design the value equation and to have our discussions actually anchored into some very concrete results and data. You see, it's not the value equation, but it's, it's, it's a process to get to the value equation as a community, so we consensus around it. You say, yeah, but look, I tried my formula and it doesn't give me any money for that, you know? Okay, now you should also note that this value equation is a very simple implementation. We only take into consideration roles. For now, all the roles are one. You know, there's a process where you can modulate roles. Okay, you can modulate. You can weigh roles against each other. Okay, uh, there's also the reputation factor, which is all about one and also the importance of that particular task in the context, okay? Uh, and, and we're gonna play with these parameters and, and this, this module this year, they will get more complex. You know, oh, you also have the seniority. You also have the seniority factor, okay? But, so that is, that is, that is part of the value accounting, actually, system and, and the redistribution of, of the, the revenue. Now we're getting into other stuff. Okay, extended bill of manufacturing and procurement. So basically, the idea here is to have a sort of a dashboard where you're looking at, at, the, uh, at the, uh, uh, the entire value network, okay? You're looking at the value network, and then, and then you, can, you can click on materials or processes, okay? And, and you can get to something like this, for example, okay? Basically, you have it. You can do something like this. So you click on the joint type transducer. Okay. So, so the, the program extracts from the data that we have information about this thing. It consumes eight millimeters of optical fiber. By, by, the, by the way, th this is not, this is in no way the complete uh, 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 information for a joint tra transducer, as I, I'm sure you know. Uh, uh, I just picked some things out of some, a few things out of some spreadsheets <laughs> to give you an idea, a good idea of this structure of of this extended. It's 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 way beyond the bill of materials. It's this is the way that that people in advanced manufacturing and supply chain companies have been doing things since about 1995 or so. And so, so, and basically, all of this information is in one structure, and it keeps going forever. And this is then becomes the basis for project management, materials management. Uh, uh, what do you need to buy? Uh, uh, you know, and it also will extend out to your customer requirements and due dates. So you take your customer requirements and due dates, and there is an algorithm. There will be an algorithm in the system that will explode though through the then the process is called explosion. Uh, uh, will explode through the extended bill and give you the required schedule for meeting those customer due dates, and all of that required schedule will end up on the timeline. You want to see this, uh, Jonathan? Yeah, I, I put a link I put a link in uh, uh, the uh, in in the uh, meeting um, meeting notes uh, uh, to a document that I wrote in 1997, uh, which gives the algorithm for doing all this stuff. Right, you, you know, in in sort of pseudocode form. You know, it's not the code. Uh, um, the code will end up in the system, and that will also be open source. But I've done this a few times before. You know, this is all pretty well known. It's not. Uh, there's nothing here that is uh, magic. And, and yeah, the, the the paper may very well be much more than you want to know about this. They actually have a link to, uh, to open the uh, our documents that, that we use to uh, to manufacture these things. So this is a great job. Yeah, so it's, the idea is that from the system you get you get to uh, put, uh, you know, this thing that is like a like block, and you can go through it and see how all the information like who are the suppliers of different parts, you know, uh, uh, how is this thing made, you know, pictures about these things. Uh, <clears throat> so 
system. Yeah, you know, all, all the real information, of course, has to be entered into the system, which is one of the drawbacks of all this kind of stuff. Somebody's got to yes. do data entry. Horrifying, yeah. I know. Jonathan is pointing to something that, uh, you know, some, some of this stuff is just made up by, 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 by Bob, just, uh, you know, just, to, just to show. I know. <laughs> just yeah, to show he saw his name and the uh, consumes three uh, hours of manufacturing work provided by Jonathan. <laughs> yeah. Now, if 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 we're lucky, we can we can uh, create scripts that will extract the data from your existing spreadsheet and just import it into the value accounting system. But you know, we could probably get some way with that. But then it'll probably need some uh, some uh, hand work as well. Okay, this is the last slide, guys. Uh, so, so basically, this is the title. This is the this is the project management, uh, task management. Uh, yeah, you lost your screen share, Tibby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's true. Screen share. Okay. So, is that okay now? Yeah. Yeah, you're on. Okay. So, so from this we move to. Yeah, that that bottom that bottom panel in the timeline. If you see a dot, if you see something down there, you can double click on it. And you can go to that date. It'll show you like the, where there's a few things going on. There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can. And then if if you click on one of those, like the bottom one has some has some. I think some of those have some data. In, yeah, there we go. And those can contain all kinds of data. They can contain images. Uh, I think you can put videos in there even if you want to, but I, I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Or if we could figure out how to do it if we really wanted to. Yeah. Okay. So that is a demo. Very practical. Very nice communication. I think it wraps up a lot of uh, you know, questions that she had, uh, and, and pretty soon she will be able to navigate this data and probably extract like real data. Yeah, let, let me, uh, Tibby, let, let, let me bring everybody's attention to that log time page, okay? If you click on that, on the page about logging time, log time, where you log time, your contrib time contributions. Okay, let me uh, no, I'll keep, yeah, no, no. What is it? I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Yeah, I'll log your contribution. Click on that. Okay. Okay. Okay, now what I wanted to say about this, this doesn't do anything yet. This is just a possibility. And this is one of those things that Tibby and I have talked about like that. Everybody hates entering data. So. And yet and still, you know, we got to have data. So, you know, in order to do contributions, I know that people are actually logging their uh, contributions in spreadsheets right now. Um, so I think what would be useful here is to have some kind of a discussion of what is the best and most convenient or some various ways that people would like to uh, um, have available to enter time, and it's not like you know, 
uh, or other and other kinds kinds of contributions. So, uh, uh, you know, this is this is um, you know, uh, uh, ideas uh, would be really uh, 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 welcome. Um, we can also do this such that uh, we can set up a protocol where you can create or find your own way to enter contributions that you like and just feed it into the system from remotely too. But I, I think we need to have something in the system for entering various contributions uh, uh, in some way that makes sense to people, is easy for people, uh, you know, not too dislikable. Um, so it, you know, I say, like I say, this is this is just a, a, an idea of how it might ha work, uh, and I'm not going to do anything with this until I get feedback on well, how people want it to work. Okay? Yeah, the idea is that uh, you have this uh, automatic screen screen. Yeah, it can help. Sometimes you want to. You don't know it. And the same day what you did, mm. just browse this uh, browser video. But it works yeah. for people from the computer, it doesn't work for Yeah, like Bob said, we're going to have a, a whole discussion. Yeah, and, and, and I'm, I'm happy for people to, uh, to uh, uh, just talk about ideas, but it's much better if you write them down. Thank yeah. you. I think this idea was, uh, was it document? It was document in a meeting, uh, I can transfer it to, I think it was document. Uh, but like Bob says, you know, uh, it's, it's maybe we can create a, pro, uh, a, a sort of a language, a standard language, and then people can even create their own applications. You might want to play with an iPhone application, you know. As long as you send the data in a specific format so the system can recognize it, uh, and then you can have, you know, like Bob, uh, you know, he proposed yesterday, Sort of to have a history of the of the of a member and always suggest you know the most likely activities and projects that he contributes. You know, so you say you find sorting through projects and activities. Uh, I propose something else, which is uh, you know to start from low level stuff. What did you do today? I read, I wrote, and I traveled. And the system can propose you some uh, higher level activities that actually contain low level activities. You know. Uh, so the system suggests higher activities from other activities. Uh, you know, but there are many ways to do it. So we should just have a discussion, and maybe I should get back to where people can interact and uh, have this done. So because, like Bob said, we recognize that logging time is, first of all, confusing. I've seen that with the new people. They don't know which product, which project to choose and, and what kind of activity. So the first of all, it's confusing. And second of all, it's a pain in the ass. But it's so important. Okay, so so we th this is why we're talking about this because we wanted to make it you know probably not fun but but as painless as possible, as painless as possible and as intuitive as possible. Okay, and I think this is an important piece because the value accounting system can only work if you put data into it. Garbage in, garbage out. Exactly. You know? So so this is the main this is the main source of data basically. You know, it's people's contributions. And if you don't have that in because people don't like it or or do it in the wrong way. Okay, you know, then your your value kind of doesn't work. It's, it's extremely important, actually. Yeah. Doesn't work. You don't know time you spend on projects. Yeah. So it's not just machinery in the back, the processing contributions, but it's also how you put the in, right? Well, if you want to get paid, you put your data in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know. But some people don't. Some people don't. Some people don't. <laughs> <laughs> people don't <laughs> <get paid>. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, Bob. Uh, uh, I think Mike is gonna is gonna appear. It's gonna be here right, within right maybe now. half an hour. No, no, I'm right, in five minutes, so we should get it for, get ready for the other meeting. Five ten. Uh, we're gonna have the camera on, so we can we can probably watch uh, this meeting as as it happens if you want to. Yeah, I booked a room, but you can stay here if she. Uh, yeah, I think we will stay here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. So uh, so. So is my part of the meeting done? Finished? Over? Sorry? Am I excused? Sure, yes. Thank you. All right. Thank all right. You. Thank you. We'll, we'll, we'll see you all tomorrow. Okay.